What's up everyone? This is Living in Columbus, Ohio, and today I'm bringing you another incredible episode as we're going to be talking about the top gated communities here in Central Ohio. Hey everyone, my name is Brad Winter, and if this is your first time to the channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Always appreciate that. Regardless, go ahead and tap on that subscribe button below, click on the bell, and give us a like, because that's gonna do the YouTube fancy algorithm thing, and it's gonna notify everybody when we do one of these videos. And as you guys know, we love talking about our city and what it's like to work, eat, live, play, sleep, you name it, we're gonna talk about it. Also, I am a licensed real estate agent in the state of Ohio. As much as I love knocking out these videos for you guys, I would love nothing more to help you with your real estate needs. So if you're thinking about making a move, if you're already relocating, if you already live here, make sure you give me a call, shoot me a text, fire off an email, whatever you gotta do, make sure you do it because I'm gonna answer all those things and I'm gonna be the guy that has your back when it comes to all things real estate related in the Columbus metro and surrounding areas. All right, so we're gonna do something a little bit different than what we've been doing today. We're gonna talk about the top gated communities in Central Ohio. And make sure you stay for the whole video because the last one that we're gonna talk about is gonna surprise you a little bit. It's gonna be a little different. Regardless, it's gonna be an awesome place and I think you'd really love it. So make sure you stick around for it. The very first gated community that we're gonna talk about is The Farms, which is located in New Albany, Ohio. If you guys remember from previous videos, New Albany is just a little northeast of downtown Columbus. We can throw it up there on the map so you guys can see. It's a beautiful suburb of Columbus. It's very popular, great schools, great community, beautiful houses. And as you guys probably have, I think maybe saw in my New Albany vlog, it's expensive to live here. That's just facts. Well, if you're thinking about living in a gated community and you've got the money to, the farm's gonna test your pocketbook. So let's talk about the farms. The farms is part of the New Albany Country Club neighborhoods. So we've talked about a few of those before. This particular area is about 22 square miles. It only has 20 homes. Can you believe that? Very exclusive. So you're probably asking yourself or you're probably wondering like, what type of people live back here. And without, you know, maybe getting into it too much, my assumption and what I know a little bit, is there's gonna be doctors, executives, business owners, hedge fund guys, you know, you name it. Those people are probably back there. We know a few of them. Beautiful houses, beautiful area, super nice people. So it's a cool community. Now, when I'm looking here at my notes, these homes are gonna range from the low end around a million to high end about nine. Think about that for a little bit. Now, you might be coming from California or New York or Miami and thinking, oh, pff, that's chump change, right? We have $40 million houses here. That's true. But for Central Ohio, this is gonna be one of the most exclusive and one of the most expensive neighborhoods um, that you're gonna find here. So in doing some of my homework here, these homes are anywhere from 5,000 to 18,000 square feet. Unreal, right? I mean, most of these houses are gonna have pools, they're gonna have big lots, car garage, and the car collections at some of these places is probably gonna be absolutely phenomenal. But the cool thing is when you live in the farms and you're part of the New Albany Country Club neighborhoods, you know, you have access obviously to the Country Club, which is golf, You've got pickleball, tennis, the pool, you know, the food at the New Albany Country Club is top notch. So you get access to all of these things. So again, if you're somebody that has that type of budget, if you are thinking about living in New Albany, you know, and you want kind of that privacy and that type of home, um, first of all, there's only 20 houses. So not a lot of these come up for sale very often or if they, you know, if they do change hands, a lot of times it's behind the scenes, off-market deals are going down. Doesn't mean it can't happen, doesn't mean we can't get you into one, but you know, this isn't gonna be like a neighborhood that's got a thousand homes and you know, 25 are for sale at a time. Just doesn't happen, right? So the New Albany Farms, check it out, it's beautiful. 
you're not gonna get back there. It's gated, it's pretty private, but you can drive by, take a look. All right, coming in at number two in our you know, top three gated communities here in Central Ohio, I'm gonna butcher this name completely. Um, I've asked multiple people how to say it and I get multiple responses. So we're gonna go with the Loach Lamon in Powell, Ohio. I've heard people say the Loch Lamon. Who knows? But anyway, uh, we're just gonna throw it up there on the map so you guys can see where that's at. This is a very exclusive neighborhood in Central Ohio as well. So this is located in Powell, Ohio. If you guys remember uh, from previous videos, we've talked about Powell. If you don't remember, it's just due north of downtown Columbus. It's a nice little pocket there, right in between Dublin, just north of Worthington, just before Lewis Center, and you know, just south of Delaware. It's a great area, very popular, beautiful homes, great schools, people are awesome. Old Pal is super cool. It's got a bunch of things, you know, as far as breweries and restaurants and all that good stuff. But this particular neighborhood, you know, we're looking up, you know, right under a million gets you in there. And then up, you know, past two, closing in $3 million homes, ranging from anywhere from 3,000 to 11,000 square feet. So again, big homes, they're beautiful. They were, a lot of these were built in the 90s. Um, so you kind of get that more craftsman style, maybe even more French countryside, if you say castle type vibe. You know, there's different styles all through up there, and there are some new houses, don't get me wrong. But the really the heart of this community and this neighborhood, um, you're gonna see some really beautiful houses. Kind of sits up on a hill, it's got amazing views, very private, the lots are really big. I mean, I, I saw on a couple of these, you know, you're almost at two plus acres, which, you know, I know some people that live on the country, it's not a lot, but if you're talking about a community, Know, sometimes that is a lot. So again, the Loch Laman in Powell, Ohio comes in at number two, one of the most exclusive gated communities here in Central Ohio. Coming in last but not least, number three on our list. I told you guys to stick around for it because it's not gonna be one that you probably were thinking. Most people are thinking, Brad, why aren't you talking about like Tartan Fields? and Muirfield Country Club, Muirfield Village, you know, all that area up there. And I could have, you know, I could have talked about that, but not all, that, not all of that is gated, truly gated. So I want to switch it up because, you know, we talked about two areas out in the suburbs. Well, let's talk about a place in the city. And we're going to talk about Park's Edge, which is, I think, in my opinion, my opinion only, this is the best building for luxury condo living in Central Ohio, bar none, period, put a wrap on it, it's not even close, all right? So Park's Edge is in the downtown area of Columbus, kind of butts up next to the Arena District, it's right across from the Scioto Mile Trail, and it is a beautiful compound of multiple buildings. So in doing some homework, looks like there's just over 200 units, and the price range for these units are ranging from you know around the high 600s, low 700s, all the way up just past two million. The median, you know, the median square footage you're going to get in these places about 2,100 square feet. Cool thing is there is a 15-year tax abatement on that, so you, that helps you out with your taxes. So yes, it's not gated, but you get 24 hours concierge service. And let me tell you, you're not getting in these buildings unless you're on the list, right? You're, somebody's having you over or you've got a little key fob or code, however they do it to get in. You know, you're not getting in. We have friends there, sold some real estate there. It is beautiful and it's private. And if you are somebody that does not want to live in the suburbs and you want to feel part of a, a really exclusive community and you want it to be safe, this place, Park's Edge, is, is by far the best. Um, you, you really can't beat it. You've got, like I said, 24 hours concierge. You've got a rooftop pool, which is amazing. You got a fitness facility on site, residence lounge, guest suites, parking garage. Not to mention, you are four seconds from the Blue, Jacks, Blue Jackets Arena, the Clippers Baseball Stadium, Columbus Crew plays right down the street. You've got the Scioto Mile Trail. Literally, some people, their view is of the Scioto Mile Trail. Uh, and you can just walk out, 
you know, the side door, go across the street, and then you're right there. So this is a phenomenal place to live. Definitely check it out. That comes in at number three in our final gated community here in the Columbus metro and surrounding areas. So there you have it. Those are my top three gated, private, exclusive communities here in the Columbus metro and surrounding areas. If you're thinking about making a move, relocating here, if you already live here, you're looking for some help with your real estate needs, whether it's a gated community, investment property, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. We do it all. Make sure you give me a call, shoot me a text message, fire off an email, whatever you gotta do, make sure you do it because I'm gonna be the guy that helps you out and I'm gonna have your back when you're making a real estate move to the Columbus metro or surrounding areas. Thanks for tuning in again and we'll catch you next time.